Welcome back everybody to Make Share Daily where you go to get your daily builds. And today we got a special occasion. It's Thanksgiving here in the US and what are we gonna build for Thanksgiving? Well, a turkey, of course. So I've built a my own design mock of a turkey. 1500 piece set, uh, links down below so you can go buy it yourself. But I use those pieces to build this Tom Turkey. And uh, we're gonna go through instructions of how to build it yourself so that you can have something to build during the holiday season of Thanksgiving. And then you can put it on the table. You could show it off to your friends. You could show it off to your family that's coming in to visit for Thanksgiving, whatever you want to do with it. So this is the turkey. And uh, a couple of the features are, we have some little knobby knees for Tom the turkey. We have the feathers back here sticking straight up. And I went from a black color to the white color. You got the beak of the turkey. It's a little bit big, but I think it works well because I wanted to make sure that I had that, that red gobbler, I think is what they call it. The gobbler up, that's, that's the neck part, the, the hangy down part in front of the neck for the, for the turkey itself. You got a little eye, a little squinty eye. Then there's the neck itself. And then we have some wings on the side and uh, that's about it. We got the, the way we stood up the feathers in the back was I made a transition. So it's just a two by two and then it's got one of these transition blocks, right? And then I put that on there and this here and then I just kind of hang out the, uh, the tail on the back end of the turkey. So it looks really good from the front. I only have one eye because I only have these. So I only have it in this one direction. I have it as gray because I wanted to mix up the colors just a little bit for the head. Um, so it doesn't have an eye on this side, but you know, you could just imagine that its eyes closed. Um, if I had one of those pieces where it's double sided, I think I might use it, but I want to make sure that it was this color, this gray color uh, to give more of a distinct head shape color, if you will. So let's get into how you build a turkey for Thanksgiving um, for your family. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with these. These are brown. You could use black as well for the feet or even yellow. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have this one by three or these three by three crosses, but you could do a three by one like a Tetris piece, or you could do a couple other designs uh, similar to this, even a one by two plate would work or a one by three plate would definitely work. So diff, uh, you know, depending on what you have, use it and uh, go ahead and build your turkey. But I had these one by, uh, one by or three by three crosses, so I'm gonna use them. Then for the knobby knees, I got one of these yellow one by one bricks uh, with the little little hand on the front and then I put that like this on both of the legs okay so that's how you build the legs of of the turkey now I'm going to take those aside and we're going to build up the base of the turkey itself so the base of the turkey starts very simple it's a two by two flat plate then we're going to put a two by three brown and a two by three brown on the front. Very simple. Then these slant up pieces, two by two slant up pieces, we're gonna put there for a little bit later when we build the next level. So we're gonna use those uh, to um, give a, the, the front of the turkey a slope feel to it. Next up is the wings. So these are the three by three with the corner chopped off bricks. So I forget the name of those specifically, but that's what it is. We're gonna put one of those on either side. Like that. So now the wings are sticking out. We are going to use a two by four brick and we're going to put it like this. And this takes a little mashing 
Um, it's not easy to make sure that that goes on correctly, but that's the way it looks, okay? And then on the back end, we're gonna use two two by threes like that. So the wings stick out on the side, which is what we're looking for. And it gives a nice platform back here to put our tail on. And then the front slopes up, but then the neck sticks out where the neck's gonna get started. So the next piece is a two by two to one plate. Now it's a slightly different color, but that's okay. Use what you have. Then we're gonna put a one by two brick on top of that. And then a one by two plate on top of that. We're going to finish the head with the one by one brick with the side stud. And then we're gonna add the eyeball to that. Like so. Then there's a couple different nose shapes that you can use. There's this one, which is three bricks long. And then there's another one that's two bricks long. Depending on what you have, figure out how to integrate it correctly. So there you go. So we put the nose on or the beak on. Then the gobble, the hanging down piece that's, that's normally red, is just one by one bricks stacked too high. So that's the front of the turkey. Now we're gonna put that aside and work on the tail itself. So the tail itself starts as a two by two flat plate. So we add this, which is a one by four with the four studs on the side. Now, if you have a two stud version of this, that's perfectly fine as well, or two individual one by one versions of this. Either way is fine. So that goes on like that. So next is the tail, and you're gonna want one of these pieces. I'm not sure what to call these, but they're six bricks or six studs wide by three and then the corners are chopped off. And it's a plate, as you can see. Now, this is just used to lay out the feathers itself. Now, what I've been using mostly is these one by two bricks that have the slope on it. And I angle it upwards so that the top part of the brick looks thinner, which makes the feathers look thinner at the top. And then we're gonna put one on each side and we're gonna put one in each side of that, going up the hill, if you will. Like that. So now you can see it's almost like a spaceship, but it's just feathers being flan uh, feathered out uh, to the top. We're gonna to use one by one bricks um, black, because you want this change of color between the brown of the turkey to the black of the feather to the white of the feather. A lot of the cartoons, if you will, have black to white feathers. So that's what I'm using for this build. Now, to go to the next level, I didn't wanna just continue on with the pattern uh, of having these up here and then filling in with a two by two black piece. If you can do that, but it's gonna look very symmetrical and very brick heavy. To take away that brick heavy feel and to have it a little more lighter, you want more depth in the piece itself. So what I've done is I've added these, which are one by two small slant pieces. And I put those on like that to make a upside down V, if you will, right? So I did that, then I came in with the black and I reversed the order. And then now it looks like a little mountain and a little V. So as you can see. Now I did that to kind of make these feathers look thinner um, and to give more depth to the piece itself. So we're gonna mount that on our transition block. So now it's easy to go on to the turkey then we're going to put it on the very back end of the turkey now you could bring it closer forward but i don't like the look of that so i've put it hanging off the back 
of the turkey itself. I think it gives enough distance from the head to the feathers to look realistic. Then on the bottom, to add the feet, you just add the feet down here. Now you can leave them symmetrical, but instead I like to stagger them just a little bit so it looks like it's walking forward to give a little motion to the, to the build itself. Or you can switch up the legs depending on which way you're gonna angle it. And there you go. There is a Lego turkey ready for you to build and be ready for Thanksgiving. And it's just one more thing that you can be thankful for is that you have enough pieces to build a Lego turkey. And then I'm sure if you show it to your friends and family, they're gonna love it as well. So go out and build one of these Tom turkeys for Thanksgiving. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see more of these kind of mocks, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. We're a growing channel and every bit counts. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.